back at it, bright eyed and bushy tail. Um, this morning we went out, got some cotton wheels. Thank God, we are going to finish cutting this off. I'm gonna trim each edge so we can get the ones we did underneath. Um, this should pop right off, and then uh, we'll go from there. I wanna feel alive, feel the blood inside my veins. I wanna slow the time where you slow it down with me. I think I need to find what it means to be okay. It's broken by design, can't live life without some pain, yeah. And I know I'll keep running, no, I'll be something you won't see me coming. I grow, I keep punching, I grow, I keep hunting. No, I need nothing supposed to be something so close to me, jumping yeah. down. In the worst kind of way You took all of my time and didn't give it back to me Wasn't enough And I don't know what to say You wanna fall in love But don't wanna feel the pain And I'm so low Cause I don't Fucking right, uh, it's not pretty, but should be able to slap the motor in there. All right, we just got done creating the first stud here. I'm gonna put some uh, some blue Loctite on it and then fit her into the fit her into the motor. Blue Loctite. Get it on the threads here. All right, stud is cut, tightened down. Um, still have to tighten down this knot, but we can worry about that all later. Um, I still have three more to cut, but so far so good. Stud number two. Just in case you guys don't know how to install and uh, take out studs, you're gonna uh, you're gonna put your first nut on and get your stud just as tight as you can. And you're gonna take your second nut and you're gonna follow it up with the first one there. <clears throat> and uh, I need two hands sadly, so I'm gonna set you down here. Once you have them together, what you wanna do is you wanna take a wrench. I don't have two 14s sadly. Uh, so I'm going to use some pliers to hold one of them tight, but you want to hold the back one and tighten the front one down to the other. And then you're going to grab the first one and spin the entire stud in until it's tight. And you'll see when it stops spinning, the other two will spin together. And just to double check, you can grab the outside nut again with the inside, make sure they're nice and tight. And then make sure that stud's in there good with the Loctite because this two stroke's going to put out a lot of vibrations. So you want to make sure she's in there nice and tight. You got Loctite in there because the old application I had problems with my studs coming coming loose on me and you do not want that yeah. my stud's still spinning all right that should be tight this outside one still gonna be tight because it has a uh, loctite on the nut as well we get this first one off there and now this inside one just tightens right down 
quick and easy, just like that. There you go. Two freshly installed studs, custom cut. And the rear is all we have left to worry about. Obviously not fully tightened down, but uh, on there and sitting, wrapped around, and I guess I lied. We're not gonna have to chop that off. Um, next thing I did realize is uh, studs still a little bit too long. Not good. You're not gonna really be able to tuck that all the way in, but we shouldn't have to. Um, Here's the next part I don't understand why they did that. Um, clearly that doesn't fit what the fuck soever. Fits sideways wonderfully, but again, what the fuck. All right, before we go any further here, I wanted to say this is fucking on there. I can tighten it down some more. We went, we put some rubber on the bottom side to put, uh, minimize vibration there. Uh, we're gonna have pads of uh, rubber to slap here and along here minimize vibration to the motor and then the frame and then this should help to the frame itself uh we should finish tighten these down a little bit more but uh as of right now they're all right um the motor hi baby she decided to join us <laughs> i'm working on the rear studs now and then i am going to get the motor actually bolted up with the new gasket made and then I'm gonna see if it'll fucking run because who doesn't want to hear that okay so <clears throat> that is our makeshift exhaust gasket hopefully that's gonna be our issue why she didn't want to stat all right big progress we have our rubber pieces here we got the motor mount on the frame the motor on the motor mount I think lined up from what I can see obviously we don't got nothing else lined up to uh, test it out with yet I just want to hear it run so I am uh, as you can tell putting her back together got the exhaust on with the uh, new gasket in there we're uh, putting the carb on now and hopefully we're gonna have a runner all right besides the chain being on it and that back tire being tightened down completely. We are on and pretty well figured out, I think. So, we're gonna try to get it to fire up. And hey, baby. Gonna need some rubber on the back side of the mount, uh, like we have on the front, but 
Besides having to pull the motor to the left some, we have enough space to be able to do that here because it seems to be just a tad bit out of line. If not perfect, it might be just a tad bit out of line. But I mean, shit, I could drive this thing right now if I ran that chain. I'd pretty much call that a fucking victory. <laughs> it's been a whole winter trying to get this thing to start. It, it, it was exactly what I thought it was. It was that gasket there. Whew. So, not positive, but I'm too damn excited to really care about much else right now. So, in case I don't do anything else more today, it's been an honor. Thank you as always. Have a great day, and next time on Small Speed. You ain't never gonna slow me down, cause I feel alive now.